Well, hello there, everybody. Dre here, and you see this? This is no ordinary pool. This is the death pool, baby. Because, yes, we have a brand new weapon in Teardown. There's always new weapons in Teardown, but this one is pretty hardcore because, as you can see... Yeah! <laughs> it's actually corrosive acid. Ah, so yes, we just have... Oh my god, it's so fast. I thought it would slowly just, uh... I guess destroy these things, but no, it is like seriously a very dangerous pool. Ah, uh, yes, the whole tree. Can we do the whole freaking tree? Oh, it's interesting though. The more I do this, the more I see there's some immune pieces. I guess they do go away over time, but for whatever reason, these guys are the strong ones. <laughs> what makes you so powerful? All right, well, we still have some bigger things to destroy. If we put this on the side here and try and angle it towards it, will it just go right away? Okay, that one actually does take a little while, so it doesn't just destroy it right away. Obviously, this should go away pretty quickly, but I'm curious about this. This looks to be some sort of bank safe. Can we uh, melt this right away? It looks like it fits perfectly in here. Goodbye. <laughs> That was such a pleasing noise. Okay, interesting. We also have an acid gun. The weird part is you can only use the acid gun on this one map. Thankfully, it looks like it's a pretty great map to try with. But yes, it, it's literally just acid. Oh, that is pleasing. It, it's not as destructive, obviously, as the pool or anywhere near that. And I do like that it just slowly trickles down. I just wanted to see if it takes just as long to melt metal. So let's go over here and we should be able to do this train actually i think oh oh it's oh my god it lags the hell out of me i mean it is destroying it definitely not as fast let's try this uh massive is this a freaking baseball i thought this was a water tower i mean maybe it is shaped like a baseball anyways yeah for whatever reason oh my god it like really lags for any sort of metal structure that's actually really cool. So yes, you can destroy metal, but obviously nowhere near as fast as something like, oh God, wood. Oh, that's so cool to watch. So yeah, that is the acid weapons we uh, can look forward to. Ah, uh, yeah, if it's anything like this, I hope we can get something a little more destructive, but I do really like the way it destroys structures. Okay, this is pretty freaking cool, and I'm already getting excited about this massive tower sitting next to it. This is the 1F, also called the Fukushima Delachi NPP. It was a nuclear power plant. It was severely damaged in 2011 by a tsunami. I actually didn't really hear much about it, oddly enough, but I love when real-world uh, places are added to this game, so oh my god. Oh, I don't think I deserve clearance. Look at that. Even the doors are freaking cool here. All right, before we destroy it, obviously, I would like to explore. It is a nuclear power plant after all, and I want to press buttons. <laughs> okay, I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, God, is this... Where is this going? Oh, I don't feel like I should be in here. Is this... This has got to be the actual nuclear zone, right? Like, in there? I love how I'm saying words like I know how the hell a nuclear power plant works. I have no idea. 5F. Yeah, you know what? Let's go all the way up. All right, the doors in this game are the coolest things, honestly. Okay, this is a lot bigger than I expected. What the hell, is a pool in here? You probably shouldn't swim in this, but I'm doing it anyways. <laughs> uh, what is this, like a dangerous claw game? Oh, oh, it's moving me now, great. Oh, it moves the whole thing. What is this for? I don't, I wish I knew something about this so I could actually use it. I'm assuming it's to drop things in this water, but what the hell would you drop in this water? Anyways, let's go down. Uh, yeah, I kind of just hit that. I don't... I don't get it. I'm sorry, guys. I'm assuming there's something in here. I mean, regardless, how cool is this? You have a real working crane inside this freaking building? Oh, that is so cool. So I'm on 4F now. This is a, a placeholder. There's nothing here. But you can even see where the elevator is based on which light is lit up. But yeah, watch as we go to 3F. It'll go to the middle one now. 
small details man that's so cool it looks like all the metal floors are very much a work in progress unfortunately this is just a staircase so yeah that's a bit of a bummer only 1f and 5f are actually done right now but this gets me excited for the future of this like i know nothing about this but this is really freaking cool we of course have to try and go into it all right well we're getting somewhere oh that's just the main room i forgot i was in the outside room oh whoa i didn't know you could actually get inside I still don't know anything about this. Oh, God. oh, I thought it blew up. Okay, I, I just turned off the lights. Hello? There's just spikes everywhere. I mean, it's kind of cool. And there's nothing below me either. All right, we're going to restart because I'm really excited about this tower. Let's actually try out this too. I have a grappling gun. Oh my God, it's got... <laughs> no, no, I don't want to go there. Oh man, I thought I could shoot this way further. Oh, I feel like freaking Batman, though. This is cool. Yes! Ah! All right, so I think we just got to be strategic on where we put this thing. Because, yeah, this can actually, like, lift you right up. I don't know if it's going to make it up there. All right, I had to cheat a bit and, and use my jetpack. But we should be able to get up there now. Yeah! <laughs> All right, and unfortunately, there's nothing on the roof. I just wanted to try that grapple hook. But that gets me excited. Because I think I should. Let's just try something here. I should be able to use this kind of, like, Spider-Man. <laughs> Yeah. All right. But what I'm really excited about is hopefully we can do some serious destruction with this beautiful beast. So I'm going to blow up the legs and try and tip this obviously into the massive structure over here. I mean, that should definitely reach it. I think this thing is pretty massive. Hopefully it's weighted enough to actually take this thing down. Oh God. They all connected together. Oh, what the hell is going on? Oh, you know what? I got the realistic integrity mod on. And it's actually crumbling upwards in the tower. And that's why it's lagging so much, I think. I turned it on because I was hoping it would be able to handle this. Oh, my God. What is going on? It didn't even fall. What? <laughs> I'm so confused. How did you get destroyed? Look at the ground. <laughs> no wonder why I was lagging. Okay, let's try that again, and that's more like it. We didn't lag right away. Now, this probably isn't going to be as pleasing because, yeah, the physics in Teardown, not the best when it comes to weight, but it still doesn't get old to see a massive structure fall. And there we go. A direct hit, if I do say so myself. Oh, oh. Oh, that was so much better than expected. I actually love how it just bent all the way over the top of that. Like, look at this. That's actually really freaking cool. Wow, you can even see the scaffolding on the roof that held it together. If that metal wasn't here, it probably would have crumbled through. It looks like it did destroy a little bit of the scaffolding possibly over here. Actually, it looked like it, like it held up quite well. Oh, you know what? I was gonna actually try and melt off the top structure here, but those jerks made it impenetrable. I hate it when you can't destroy something and tear down. It's illegal, goddammit. I wonder, can I actually... Hold on. Still have the Omni Cutter, so I'm just gonna take off the whole top of the structure then. Screw, screw them. <laughs> there we go. Be gone. <laughs> All right, but there she... Oh, no, we have one pixel. One pixel is all that holds it up. There we go. Please just destroy it a little bit more. I think it's got the weight to do it. Yes! That was pretty freaking good. So, yeah, that invincible roof really ruined it. It looks like the wall was invincible as well, as you can see. So, it did kind of cut the uh, tower in half, unfortunately. <laughs> but we definitely had more destruction that time than last time. I wish you could turn that off, though. Making freaking material impenetrable is really annoying. All right, and welcome to Tear NG. Yes, we now have Beam NG in Tear Town. I love that we start with the Gavril D. It feels so fitting. So yes, this is obviously just a vehicle fun zone. It looks like there's a lot of different structures to de get to destroy with this thing. And starting off perfectly i should also mention i have a new camera mod for vehicles as well if you remember whenever you drive fast in this game the camera's always wonky and i always said i wish somebody would design something that would fix that it has been fixed we now have a perfect camera that doesn't get all wonky when you do drive around anyways let's see if we can do some destruction here there we go i actually do want to see how damaging this is if we go from the bottom here because this is going to be like a blender for this thing oh oh god jesus christ 
Okay. Well, I don't think we're driving that car anymore, so we'll leave that one and move on to something else. What the hell is this? Can I touch it? Ow! <laughs> is this like you have to keep it straight? Like, can we actually fit in here? Oh, I'm done. I'm done already. Okay, there we go. Ah! All right, full speed, baby. Full speed ahead. Ah! Ah! Does it get thinner? I can't tell if I'm just bad or if it gets thinner as you go. I'm gonna try and take that slow. Ah. Oh god, the first one, really? It's okay, it was just my door. Did it get thinner or is this a fatter truck? Or am I just this bad? Oh my god. Okay, slow and steady. I don't have to freak out. I'm doing it. Full speed. Full speed. Yes! I love how I went so slow and still my car is like this after that. Saw these conveniently placed orange squares here. I think this means drop a vehicle here. Ah! Oh, it's a trigger. Oh, that was so cool. I didn't realize it would be an actual trigger. What the hell happens on that one behind this one? I mean, I know what's going to happen here. And I'm cool with it. Ow! I can't actually understand what's going to happen with this one. I mean, it just looks like it's hammers. But does this go up? This has to go up, right? Ah! Ah! <laughs> didn't expect that i thought it'd be a slow elevator again damn it yeah why doesn't the other ones work it's just that one that's okay that was an impressive punt there's this runway is this a drag strip why is that what are these hammers ah god damn it goodbye cruel world uh <laughs> why is my tire squealing there must have been a piece of metal in it you're not taking me that easy i'm still working damn it i'm gonna keep going until i can't <laughs> I can't believe I've landed on uh, my wheel so many times. Is it going to do it again? Of course it is. My cabin isn't even connected anymore. <laughs> ah, God. All right. Well, I think we put it out of its misery finally. Oh, I didn't see your little box of fun. Okay. Ain't nothing like a good old shredder. Ah. Uh... Yeah, I don't think that one's working anymore either. Anyways, yeah, I think you guys get the idea. Uh, yeah, a lot of different ways to destroy things on this map. Uh, we have another shredder there. Some more walls to, uh, enjoy. And yeah, it's just nice to see BeamNG and Teardown now. Well, 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 it looks like we have a new PC to destroy. Welcome to Broke This PC 2. If you remember, there was a highly detailed PC that we destroyed. Well, this is the new and improved version. And I have to say, it looks fantastic. Can we do the, uh, yes, it actually turned off. Oh my God, that's amazing. So that's obviously liquid cooling. I don't know if you saw, it also turned off the processor or at least the processor light. Do we actually have a processor in here? I'm morbidly curious now. That definitely looks like a processor with the copper plating in the back. Well, yeah, we're definitely not gaming anymore, unfortunately. I just put a hole through the whole thing. I love it, though. The water actually coming out of the uh, liquid-filled tube. That's insane to me. Now, is the fan still working here? They are, actually, surprisingly. Not anymore. <laughs> How's the PSU look? Oh, yes. This feels dangerous. Shoot it. All right. I don't think we have power anymore. Oh. There goes my freaking RAM. How is that lit up? Oh, man, this is not real at all. Let's see if we can overheat the graphics card. So we just turned off the graphics cards fan. When I was testing it last time, I believe I started a fire with the processor. So again, we'll let the water come out of this thing and or the liquid, I should say, and see if we can overheat that as well. Oh, oh, what? Why? Why is the RAM falling out? What the hell just happened? I looked away for a second and the RAM sticks are shot out. What the hell? Keep those things slotted in there. Come on now. God, the detail here is insane, though. You can see, like, the Ethernet uh, LEDs and then obviously the different type of USB ports. I just love this map for its absurd detail. How's the hard drive doing? Oh, my God. It's actually spinning in there. Dude, I didn't think it would go to that level. That is insane. I haven't been able to heat it, unfortunately. Well, if we can't destroy it under its own heat, we'll have to make our own heat. I mean, I guess that's kind of heat, right? Oh my God, that was a bit low, but that was really pleasing to watch anyway. I love this thing, the Jericho. Oh, we're definitely gonna play more of this later. All right, well, I'm pretty sure that PC is totally broken. 
Well, boys, you seem to be here a little bit early. Uh, there's no fire yet. So, you know what? I'll just help out. Oh, my God. You can tell them to follow you. Wait, do they actually put out the fire? Dude, that's insane if that's the case. Anyways, we're at, uh, well, some sort of massive apartment building. You know what? I'm just going to fly up. It's probably faster. But this is supposed to be designed to be fully flammable. So we're going to have a fire on this floor. Dude, do you remember when we overheated that PC a second ago? Yeah, this is this is where it happened. <laughs> oh, oh god, that is that is the bad place to start a fire, I guess. Right above the fire alarm or below it rather. Yes, come on, my derpy crew. <laughs> I love this. Let's go see if we can put this thing out, guys. I don't know how to get there. It said not to use the elevator, but I'm not going to listen. Animation guys, guys, the door. Come on. Come on, guys. You're supposed to be professionals here. Oh, great. We already have somebody who died via brain damage. Oh, my God. One at a time. One at a time. Guys, we're all not going to get in. There you go. Come on. You know, we're supposed to be fighting fires. I feel like I'm dealing with preschoolers right now. Okay, let's just... I don't even know what the floor is. I'm going to enter eight. There we go. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm sorry. I just want to fight fires. I think we went a floor too high, too. Well, we're here. I don't know where the fire is, but it's definitely down, I think, a little bit. This guy won't follow me anymore, either. He's, like, horrified, looking at his friend who's dying on the floor. Follow me. All right, well, I guess we're doing this on our own. Here's the floor with the fire, possibly. I think it might be actually one more below. Yeah, I'm gonna say there's a fire there. I'm an actual firefighter in this game. I've always said this game should be a firefighting simulator because the fires are amazing in it. And now I get to actually experience that. Yeah, you know what? I might actually be able to put this out. All right, maybe I'm getting too confident. It's actually... I don't even know if I'm on the right floor. I think the fire might be on the floor below. That's where it started, at least. And it's also spreading upwards, so fantastic. God, everywhere I go, there's just more fires spreading. I think I should go up another floor. It's looking like this is... Oh, my God. Guys! Guys, it came up to you, and you're still not freaking fighting it. All right, how's the next floor doing? Oh, great, great. Just, okay, this is like seven floors at this point. This one, I'm catching up to it. I'm catching up to the top, though. I might beat it. I'm getting confident again. Oh, God. Oh, God, the elevator's on fire. <laughs> Should I call it? Oh, God. Here it comes. Yeah, put put it out for me. I don't know if that worked or not, honestly. Hello? Oh, you're Attention. still in here? Can you put out that fire for me below you? What the hell is that? Do not use the Who is that? What happened to you? Were you on the john? I'm so confused. I didn't even tell anybody to come in here. I just heard beeping. I don't even know who that would be. I'm so confused. Anyways, I jumped down to the bottom. Um... Top is still very much in flame, but as you can see, I've been trying to fight this for so long. It's actually really well done. This was my dream to have a really difficult firefighting simulator, and this is just spreading so well. It's actually kind of horrifying. All right, well, we made it to the roof. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. What the hell is this? That's the elevator engine? I thought it was explosive. Thankfully, we haven't had anything explode yet. I can't believe it went all the way up to the roof. Yeah, I think I think I have been destroyed by this. Look at this. It started at the bottom again. Yeah. Uh, I could not get it under control with just me around. There's still so many small fires, as you can see. And, they, like, it's all the way through the structure. So well done. I really wish I was able to put it out, but I can only do so much with a fire extinguisher. If I had a giant hose, maybe, just maybe. Well, boys, I did my best. We're gonna have to, uh, put it out of its misery, I think. And there we go. We have hit ground. Look at it just crumble under its own weight. It literally got destroyed into nothing. What the hell? It deleted itself. That's actually amazing. We still have fires, of course. Yeah, I, I am not a good firefighter, clearly. All right, guys, but that's going to wrap it up for this episode of Teardown Modding. I hope you guys enjoyed the shenanigans once again. Uh, yeah, I still have a lot more mods to show you guys, oddly enough. So, uh, we'll probably have another episode in the very near future. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed some simple fun playing with some acid. As well as, of course, some fire as well. So yeah, as always, guys, thanks for watching and liking. And I'll see you in the next one.